so we got out of work a little bit early today. My school dismissed a little early, so and I'm help. going Sunday now to make up. Well, <laughs> he was going in to fix my mom's car anyway. Yeah, and well, the quarter paddle on too. And do that, but um, so we're going to Echo, our new push rod scheme. That's the change that we were talking about. So we're heading down there a little bit early just so we can put the new push rods in to hopefully, hopefully get a couple runs on them tonight. But it's kind of hot today. I don't want to be there all night because I'm still recovering from Tuesday night because I'm tired. I'm recovering for the last seven weeks. Yeah, that too. But still mostly Tuesday night because that was the most recent. But we're going to try to get some grid data on the car. And yeah, we'll see if these new push rods pick us up any. They should, but... Or it's gonna work as if we don't like how it's working, we'll just put the old ones in. But grateful to get into ACO to make this switch now. I don't think tomorrow is gonna happen for the race because the weather is not looking good. So I think we're gonna go down and pick up tires tomorrow instead. So this will probably be my last race with these tires and we're putting the new ones on. They're the same tire, but still. Now I can do a little bit of a bigger burnout, I guess, to say goodbye to them. I don't know. Yeah, well, but, the tread bars still aren't even up it's the sidewall so if you got a foot brake car you may have a set of tires for you yeah we have set tires for you if you're foot braking but we'll keep you in with the runs hopefully it's an easy night um only got two passes on tuesday because of that crash so hopefully tonight goes smooth and we can get some good hits on the car and be out before 10 o'clock <laughs> so we're at the track trying to put in the new push rods. So far we're taking off the rockers and getting the push rods out. We're gonna put the new ones in in a couple minutes. So I'm gonna let you take a peek at what we're working with. We have our pack belt springs. Just took off our jessels. This side's done already, so that's pretty good. Throttle stop. Finishing up this side. Our new push rods, so hopefully we'll be ready to go in about an hour, which is about when they're starting. So get some good hits on it. Now maybe one day I'll walk you through this one. Because I mean, I'd say it's what eight thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars before inflation. When we bought the stuff, probably about 75, 8 grand of the little things that add up to a thousand dollars and baskets like oil. Yeah, about 75, 8 thousand dollars before inflation. It's probably 15 now with inflation, yeah, but really not that. <laughs> I'm kidding. The only thing custom in this engine is the cam. Really? Everything and the push rods. Everything else you can buy. Really and now the guy next to us started up, so we'll take you through it in a little bit.
right, so we're leaving the track. Um, early, like we always do. Early. It's 11.39. My watch is dying. Yeah, <laughs> My phone was wasn't staying yeah, well. goal was to be out by 9 o'clock. Yeah, the goal was to be out by like 9 o'clock. Um, I was in the staging lanes for my first pass at 9 o'clock. So basically what happened was we got there and we put the push rods in. That went pretty smooth, so like no real issues with that. It just took a little while. As soon as we finished up the generator, <laughs> this is my fabulous look continuing. The generator stopped generating. generating. It was running, the motor was fine, but it stopped putting out power so I couldn't charge my car. Um, so we only did two runs. And as soon as we figured that out, we were about to take it up. There was a massive oil down where the guy oiled down the entire track. So um, I sat in the staging lanes for two hours. And then I thought we were finally going. And they cut us off like three cars before me. So I did not get to make a run So at 8 o'clock. So I didn't go down the track until I think like 9.07. I think my slip said. I don't remember off the top of my head. But it was like 9 o'clock. And it went at 10.95 at 132.90, I think. I think it was like 90. It was like almost 133. Um, I was a little slow on the tree. I was 40 on the tree. Thought I was a little bit better than I was. But it could also probably be because these tires are a year old and they're kind of beat up. Um, the sidewall. So we're going to put new tires on. Yeah, the rest of the tires. Right? I'll race in that. The rest of the tires fine. But sidewall is probably a little beat up so we're gonna so, see yeah, if that if helps you're yeah if you're a foot breaker i know we can get some tires but um so 1095 wasn't too bad um came back around maybe about 40 ish minutes later made another pass and it went 1088 at 132 again so right there where i wanted to be i was 11 on the tree so definitely getting in the groove all i know is we let the tires up i let go of the button and it left good so i knew my light was going to be good because it did exactly what it was supposed to do but uh, again don't have a whole lot of content in this video it's kind of like tuesday night but i think this one was worse because we sat in the lanes the majority of the time and there was a good turnout and there was a very good turnout. Yeah, we didn't um, have enough battery to walk down We didn't have a whole lot of battery to walk down the lanes and record it. Um, a lot of no-time cars. A lot of no-time cars. There were definitely a lot of people in the burnout box stands that are gone. A lot of people parked along the fence, a too. spectators in the stands. Yeah, spectators in the stands. Even if you look at the stands and you're like, there aren't a whole lot. One echo stands are more huge. Yeah, more Two, more. a lot of them park along the fence or they're in the burnout box, which without the stands, you really can't see a whole lot in the burnout box. But definitely a lot of traffic there. A lot of traffic in the pits. I know I walked up to go like to the bathroom and the concession stand was like super packed. So very good turnout tonight for a Friday night. But um, I mean, they always get a good turnout Friday night. But it was a good day. Um, pretty good barometer but the water greens were kind of high humidity was kind of up there so the fact that it did one in 32 when those water greens high we're happy with um yeah high 132 we're happy with so just gonna go over the car before cecil next weekend just make sure like nothing moved with our lash and stuff and i think we're in a pretty good position i mean two passes and the car is right where it needed to be i mean 1095 yeah it was a little slow took timer out 1088 right where i needed to be um no bracket racing tomorrow they canceled so i will be buying tires but yeah which will be tomorrow's video road trip tomorrow right? maybe <laughs> um i might be asleep half the drive because i'm very tired but we're finally going to get dinner it's 11 43 so I haven't had anything since like 1 30 at a protein shake at like 1 30 and oh I had a pretzel too I haven't even had a whole lot I'm about to start eating on like snack pretzels that we have down here that I shouldn't do but I'm gonna do it anyway but yeah I mean overall happy with the car happy with the turnout got to see a lot of cool cars there no time cars were fast yeah, got to see a no time it was time slip I wasn't gonna say that but well they don't know which car no timers have a tendency of showing us our their time slips for some reason. I want to be quiet about it. <laughs> yeah, I think they're trying to entice us to come to the dark side. I'm not running no time anytime soon. <laughs> I've been there, kind of tried it, moving on. <laughs> Can't afford it. But, 
yeah i mean overall we're happy with it so i guess the next time we'll be back out will be for cecil county mid-atlantic dot id series fingers crossed the weather goes well because it's beautiful throughout the week and then it rains on the weekend so hopefully we'll be fine this week but thanks for watching hope you like the car we definitely did not clean it because the problem was so bad but it didn't look bad um yeah so thanks again for watching